Dead gum. And every time I do this, it's always on video setting. I don't know why. I guess I'll make a video. Well, here's a trail over here we came in on. Cross over this. And here's a trail. Goes back that away. Goes back this way and goes on for a, a long time. We've walked a lot of it. We walked about two miles of this one and back down to an iron bridge and this is closer to the entrance. It's nice, uh, it's like an old fire trail, maybe an old road or something coming through here, and so it's kind of grown up, but it's clear, so you got a good perimeter. You can you can see around you. Most of this place is thick. That's why I call it the big thicket. But we're gonna set this area up as a camp. So here's a here's what it looks like before. And we'll come back and we'll check it out after we're done setting it up. <clears throat> okay, I've probably spent no more than, I don't know, not even 10 minutes, maybe 8, 5, 8 minutes, and I've got my hammock up. My hammock was up in probably like less than 30 seconds. I mean, like, just throw the rope, cinch it down, hook it, throw the rope over another tree, cinch it down, and hook the other side of the uh, hammock, and that's done. So then you just take the tarp out and figure out how you're going to do your tarp. Jason's still farting around with his tent over here. Reading directions and checking everything out. Yeah. Stuff's falling down. You know, you're going to be on the ground. Sometimes it's kind of good to be on the ground, but if you're going to be all zipped up in a tent, what's the difference of being up in a hammock or being zipped up in a tent? It's kind of the same thing. If an animal walks up on you, you're still going to have a disadvantage, you know? I'd rather be up in the air a little bit and have something walk underneath me and leave me alone than have something run into me and get pissed and who knows what they'll do. It's a pretty nice tent, lightweight. Pretty compact, one man tent. Not sure how much goes, huh? Let's figure that out. But uh, yeah, that's the hammock, the packs, tree hanging on the pack. We're gonna put a fire right here in the middle. And uh we'll get back with you. Well we got that tent set up. What nothing to it. Took what didn't take no time, won't take no time next time either. It's pretty cool little one-man tent. We were just trying to figure out how to put the rain tarp on so it took so long. You could probably get two people in there easy, couldn't you? Yeah, it's a two-person tent. Is it? Yeah, that's definitely. you got tons of room in there. That's pretty cool. Let's take a tour. It's not bad. Yeah, you got plenty of room. Open these little things over here and get ventilation. Yeah, there's vents. Right yeah. No, it's pretty ground, cool. Though, you know? It's a little... What's the name of it again? What kind of tent is it? Uh, no Limit. No Limit tent. Two-person tent. With the rain tarp on it. Oh, it's got a hook up here for a light. Yeah, get a little hook inside for a light. That's pretty nice. Well, you got some stuff right here on the outside. Your little things you can put in here. Look. For, um... Put this inside there, dude, for you to put your stuff in. Oh, yeah. Put yeah. your shoes or put your yeah, books and... Cool books and stuff into, hang that up there. I can sit up in here pretty good, too. Yeah, you got plenty of headroom sitting up, and you're probably about almost six foot, five, 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 no, five, ten, right? Six foot? Five, eight. Oh, five, eight. I guess it just, yeah, just kind of goes like that. that so then that'll hang up there in the ceiling, and you can hang all your stuff on it. Got three pockets, three, three big po big nets. Definitely is hotter, though. It's cool. It's hotter in there? Yeah. Yeah, with that rain thing on there, it's probably a lot hotter. All right. Now it's time for a fire. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's a, it looks like a better striker to me. We gotta just make a bundle real quick, you know? Yeah, that's what it is. Not bundle, we're not bundling it right. There we go, boys. Oh, 
we have fire. It didn't take no more than probably close to a minute, and we both used our strikers, and he threw a little bit more pine needles on top, and kept it going. That's a fire, camping. As you can see right here, we got some, uh, look right there, Jason. That's some tent, some t uh, kennel. Um, and then right over here, we have all the, the big, bigger logs and stuff, which is pretty cool. And yeah, we got us a fire going. It didn't take too long. We had the ferrocene rods, some strike force, and um, didn't use any kind of gels or anything. We just used some uh, grinded up uh, leaves and some pine needles, and that was it. Real quick, not less than a minute, probably close to a minute, maybe at the most two, but not bad for nothing. So that's how it works, man. It's pretty stable too, right? Well, the idea is to put a piece of paracord and tie it to the uh, pot. Yeah. And to regulate the temperature, all we have to do is raise this up. Yeah. And uh, we'll increase the height, or decrease the height, and get the temperature that we're looking for. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. yeah. Work. yeah. The paracord should, shouldn't get burned if the pan's underneath it. So. We're going to give it a shot. we got a little bit of copper line. We may have to try that. We'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll, all we have now is paracord. We'll try that out. Go from there. Pretty cool. Sam Houston National Forest. Got the pot now. On here, we attached it with some paracord. Got it I'm about a foot away from the fire. Had it on for about 30 seconds, and it's already pretty warm to the touch. And uh, we can lower it, get it closer to the fire to make it boil that water and then we'll, we'll raise it back up. Pull it down. What and about? I got a slip knot right here. So if we need to get this off, <coughs> pour it in to make a meal, we can easily just pull that, hold the strings, and move it where we need to move it. Simple well, as that. What if you want to move it out of the way of the fire or something? Well then we can grab this whole TV thing and just slide this over. We want to get it all the way out. That's cool. If uh, we have nothing in it and we don't want to get our pan hot, we can just kind of throw up here and just and just kind of loop it, just get it out of the way. That's pretty cool, man. We didn't even spend three minutes on that, dude. Yeah. That's pretty cool. A couple minutes. How long, how long? How long? How long do you think we've been out here, setting our camp up? Maybe 15 minutes. Probably right. Maybe 20 at the most. Maybe 15, 20 at the most, and we have been there 20 minutes and we got everything set up, fire going. Look, like we've been here for a day at least. <laughs> well, we got the, uh, the fire going. The other night we uh, we were in the middle of the rain and we had some uh, trouble getting it going. We were able to get an ember going and smoke, but we, the rain was just it was making it smoke and not catch fire. So we, uh, we we blew on it for about 20 minutes trying to get it going. I finally whipped out this thing. Can you see it? It's an ordinary little camping cutting board, red. Doesn't have to be red, be green, any color. And uh, I just took it and just used it like this. And it just made that fire go crazy. And uh, this was just awesome. It made us be able to light a fire in saturated conditions. And this thing actually was more than one purpose than just cutting on it. You can fan your fire with it, kind of like a forge. Great to have in your camping pack.